when we're being asked for a, to find the perimeter of a shape, we're being asked for the total length around the edge of the shape. So with the shape here, this triangle, what we've got to do is we've got to add up each of the lengths. So we've got three sides to the triangle. We've got eight, six, and 10. So that's every length around the edge of the triangle. And then we add them up. So eight plus six, that's 14, plus 10, that's 24 centimeters. So the total length around the edge of the shape is 24 centimeters, and that's the perimeter. So that's the answer. Here we've got a rectangle, and you can see there's only two lengths with um, the length marked on them. So we've got seven millimeters on this side, but because it's a rectangle, we know that the other side is also seven millimeters. And we've got 10 millimeters here, so we know the other side at the top is also 10 millimeters. So what we've got for the total length around the edge of the shape for the perimeter, we've got 10 and 7, and we've got that again. I'll just put 10 plus 7 plus 10 plus 7. At 10 plus 7, that's 17. And then, well, we've got another 17 here. So 17 and 17, double 17, that's 34, in this case, millimetres. So that's what we're doing when we're looking for the perimeter of a shape. So pause the video and see if you can work out the uh, perimeter of these two shapes. Okay, so the triangle here, we've got 12, 9 and 15. So it's 12 plus 9 plus 15. It doesn't matter which order you add them up in, you're still going to get the same answer. So 12 and 9, 12 plus 9, that's 21. And then 21 plus 15 is 36 centimetres in this case. So the perimeter is 36. Here we've got 5, 5, 8 and 8. So we've got 8 plus 5, plus 8 plus 5. So we've got 8 plus 5, which is 13, plus another 13, so that's 26 millimetres. Okay, these shapes are called compound shapes. What they are is shapes made up of different shapes. Um, what all the, Finding the perimeter is the same, but what you'll find a lot of the time is there's missing lengths that you've got to work out first. So in this case, so if we look at this length here, it's six the whole way down and four down to here. So that means we need another two meters in this case to go the whole way. And here we've got four meters to here, nine the whole way. So we need another five meters. And now you can see every length, every side of the shape has got the length marked on it. So now all we've got to do is add up the lengths to find the perimeter because remember the perimeter is the total length around the edge of the shape. So we've got 6 plus 9 plus 4 plus 5 plus 2 plus 4. Now I did that by going around the shape as if I was walking along the edge of the shape. So I went up here, along here, down here, across here, down here and back along to where I started. And that way you can make sure you don't miss out any other lengths. So then we just have to add them up. 6 plus 9, 15, plus 4, 19, plus 5, 24, plus 2, 26, plus 4, 30. So 30 metres for this one. That's the perimeter. The second shape here, let's look at the missing lengths first. So all the way up the side, we've got 1 and 2, so that's going to be 3 metres. And we need this length here, it's three across the bottom, one across there, so we need another two metres. Now we've got every shape, so we just have to add them, every length, sorry, so we just have to add them up. So I'm going to start there and go around the edge. So it's one plus one plus two plus two plus three plus three, and that gets me back one, one, two, two, three, three. One plus one is two, plus two is four plus two is six, plus three is nine, plus three is 12. So I've got 12 
meters for this one here. Okay, here's another two compound shapes. If you can work out the perimeter for these ones, pause the video, give it a go. Okay, so the first step, we're going to fill in the gaps. So we don't know the length along the top, but it's five and one to go all the way across. So that must be six meters. And we don't know this one here, but it's four the whole way, two up to there, so another two meters. And then we're going to go around the edge. So start here and go all the way around. So I've got six plus two plus one plus two plus five plus four. Six, two, one, two, five, four. Six plus two is eight, and then one makes it nine, ten, eleven. Uh, plus 5 is 16, plus 4 is 20, so 20 metres. And here we've got a missing length, um, 1 and 5, 5 take away 1 is 4. And we've got 2 along that bit, the whole thing from 5, so this must be a missing 3. And then we'll go around the edge, starting on there this time, 5 plus 5 plus 4 plus 3, plus one, plus two. Uh, five plus five is 10, plus four is 14, plus three is 17, plus one is 18, and another two goes to 20 meters.